Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, my name is Drew, and today we're going to be eating some food. So I asked you guys to send me what you would like to see me eat for my next mukbang and to ask me some questions for my next Q&A, which is all this same video. <laughs> um, a lot of you guys said things like tacos and sushi and ramen. And while tacos and sushi both do sound good, I thought it'd be really fun to do ramen this time, and I'll probably do uh, tacos and tacos and sushi for the next ones. I'm not opposed to sushi or tacos. I really liked, uh, if you guys watched one of my previous videos uh, with Nadia White, where we did a mukbang at Guar, uh, at Guar Bar, you, uh, she recommended that I do tacos with increasing levels of hotness and hot sauce, which really sounds like a good idea to me. So if you guys want to see me do tacos with increasing levels of hotness and hot sauce, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see that for the next mukbang because I will definitely do that. I love hot sauce. I'm really into hot sauce. But today I picked up these three things. I think they're so cute. These are, I've never had these two um, because I don't buy individual, individual bowls of ramen. I don't think they're environmentally friendly particularly, and I've never had these. Um, so what this is, is this first one is shin bowl noodle soup. And this is the spicy one. So you can see that there. Then I got, these are the every burger burger shaped chocolate cookies. These are super cute. Um, I hope they don't taste like shit. And of course, I had to get a pack of Pocky because obviously I am eating ramen and whatever the heck this is. And I think it's cute, all the packaging matches, and I love that. So let's go ahead and get this bowl of ramen cooked and we will jump right into the questions. Here is the ramen. I don't know if we'll be able to see that. Oh yeah, it's so good. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera correctly, but I hope it does. I love ramen. I love ramen so much. So I told you guys you could ask me anything you want, and you guys definitely did, so let's just, let's, some of these questions are a little out there, but I love a good out there question. So the first, the first person asked, why are my daddy issues translated into crippling anxiety? Well, I'm not a therapist, but it's probably because you haven't had enough sex with leather daddies. If you could be any character, who would you be? That's a really easy one. I would be Link from The Legend of Zelda, and I'm working on a cosplay for it, actually, currently. Like, while filming this video, there's actually, like, green fabric, like, right over there, and I just posted it to my story like photos of me and the hat that I just made for it. Why am I a gap tooth bitch? You might be less of a gap tooth bitch if you let less people hit you in the mouth with their dick. But you know, a little cosmetic dentistry will fix anything. Can I be with you? Um... Sure, where are we going? It's so good. I'm doing more eating than talking. Um... Because this is really good ramen. What the heck? Will you marry me? Well, that's illegal in this state, so no. Additionally, no. Why are you so with 
buy those sexy. Maybe I'm born with it, or maybe it's Maybelline. Have you ever thought about doing porn? I mean, obviously, who hasn't? Like, I've never seriously thought about doing porn, but like, who hasn't? I have a lot of friends who do porn, so if I wanted to do porn, it probably wouldn't be that hard to figure out a way to get into it. But honestly, I don't think that's for me. Oh, that's good. Have you ever heard a friend? I mean, yes, obviously, who hasn't? I don't think when you get into like fights or arguments with your friends, it's not about whether like, unless you did something terrible, it's not really about like what you did or what was really said between the two of you. It's how you make up to it, how you apologize for things that matters. Last question for the Robin Bowl, because we are almost out. As you can see, there's only just a little bit of ramen left in this bowl. What is your deepest hurt? Oh, gosh, that's a hard, that's a hard question. I don't really have a lot of like deep hurts because I don't really care <laughs> generally what people say or think about me. If I had to like say something, it'd probably be one of my friends, like ex-friends. The way that the friendship ended. I would say it's a hurt, but it's a regret. Uh, I had a friend who I, I allowed the friendship to end when it really shouldn't have because I didn't feel like backing down from my opinion. So that's probably like the deepest hurt, biggest hurt that I have in my life is that I um, did that. That's pretty much it. I really don't have much else uh, in that regard because I really don't allow people to affect me that way. Because um, generally I find that if I stay in my lane, I haven't done anything wrong. So this is what the cookies look like. They're very, very cute. They look like, they really do look like tiny hamburgers. No, this tastes like, it tastes a little bit like Pocky, but like, they taste like the Milano cookies, those things that you get, there's like, you get three in one pack, and they're like, like 250 or something like that, and they come in a little like rolled white bag, and they're like an oval, I think they're called Milano cookies, tastes a lot like that, pretty good, how much wood could a wood truck chop? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. To be fair, I actually do think woodchucks can chuck wood. I think there was even like an episode of Mythbusters about that. I don't remember, don't quote me on that. But. If I had to venture a guess, I'd probably say at least it's body mass. That's like, what, 10 pounds? These are really, really rich. I need like milk or something. I was going to get milk, but then I remembered for this, I bought a drink specifically for this and I forgot about it because it was in, they're separate from the rest of this. This was in the fridge. Um, I bought myself. A Robin A. Here's what these are. These are the hardest fucking drinks to open in the world. Ugh. They are so hard to open. 
because like the plastic's on there really hard, but then like it's got a little ball here in it. And you have to take this thing and stick it on top like that. That's too much work, but they're so good. <laughs> they're delicious. And I, of course, got the original flavor, in case you were wondering. Uh, I don't like the strawberry one very much. I think there's a third one, like a watermelon one. I don't know. I never buy any of those. I always buy original because that one tastes good to me. It's like seltzer. Anyway, we're doing Q and I. If you had five wishes for yourself or the world, what would they be? First of all, I wish Donald Trump was no longer president. I'd be the first one. Did I ever show you guys a flip up of these? I'm gonna get a pretty one. I like this one. Look, it really does kind of look like a burger. They're so cute. So that'd be the first thing, is that I would wish Donald Trump was no longer president. Number two, I'd wish for student loan debt to not be a thing. It was like gone. I'd wish for equity in the world. Number four, I'd wish that I was the richest person in the world. Just gonna be honest. And number five, I wish people would give a shit about global warming. Oh God. We are nearly through these questions. We are nearly through these questions. Huh. Gosh, this is difficult to get through all this. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I got my pack of Pocky. Like that. And I keep them in the box, just like this. Because uh, I, I, I don't know, I think it's cuter when you keep Pocky in the box. If you guys don't know what Pocky is, it looks exactly like it does on the front. It is a little pretzel thing um, with chocolate on it. And these are like one of my favorite uh, snacks. They've always been one of my favorite snacks. Um, they're a really, really big thing, especially like in like anime and stuff, you see people eating Pocky quite often in anime, and like the whole bag is 340 calories. So if you eat a whole bunch of them, it's not a big deal. How can I split an atom using only a kitchen beater and a shoe? Well... What? Y'all starting to get real out there with these questions. And it's like, the questions that came from Instagram are all like, really depressing. <laughs> and then the questions that came from Facebook are just wild. Um, I'm sure that if you just wave them together and slap them on enough things, something will happen. Um, that's a YouTube video I'd like to see, you know. Trying to split an atom with an egg beater and a shoe for five minutes straight. 
I'd watch it. How do I open up about being a transgender drag entertainer? Find within your community, um, like the trans drag community. That's probably like the best suggestion that I have is a place to start if you're not comfortable just coming out. Did you teach yourself how to do makeup? Um, I had a drag mother that taught me the basics of makeup. Um, most of the stuff I do now, I did teach myself, but it's all built off of the foundations of makeup that I learned. Um, what inspires your looks? Um, a lot of my looks are based on like fetish gear and stuff that I see, and then I take that and really just take it there. Um, I watch a lot of anime, like I'm not even gonna lie, that's always been my thing, like right from the get-go, like anyone who's known me and has known me from the beginning of me doing drag, I actually used to perform like, um, like a lot of Japanese songs when I first started doing anime. Um, when I first started doing anime, when I first started doing drag, I used to perform a lot of like Japanese songs and I would wear a lot of like um, really shitty cosplay stuff. Um, but a lot of my costume designs are based off of like anime and fetish here and stuff like that. And the very last question, is devil or angel? And I think we all know the answer to that. Well, you guys, I am all out of ramen and I am all out of time. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell notification so you know every single time I upload, upload, So you know every single time I upload, I upload usually on Fridays, but sometimes on Mondays. It's just sometimes life gets away from me. I have a full time job. YouTube is just for fun. Um. I also want to give a special shout out to all my patrons over on Patreon. Uh, without you guys, I wouldn't have the equipment that I need necessary to film or do anything. So I want to thank you guys so much for everything that you do. You fund everything that I do. I love you guys so much. And if you want to join my Patreon, there's one, five, ten, and fifteen dollar options available. I have a equity-based Patreon. That means no matter what tier of Patreon you pay, you get access to everything that I put on Patreon, um, which is all the blog posts, all the vlog posts, uh, pictures, and um, polls that I put on Patreon. I usually upload to Patreon once a week or twice a week. It really depends on like what kind of content I'm making for Patreon at that particular time. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!